fish is really running, which normally means bigger. He does not want to come up this hole. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big wallet. Oh boy. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today guys, I am up here once again in Northern Wisconsin and I am hitting a body of water where I'm gonna be walleye fishing. Now, if you guys watched our last video, you saw that I caught like a nine pound, 28 inch walleye. And if you guys haven't seen that, well, I just spoiled it. Go watch our other video where I caught, yes, a 28 inch Northern Wisconsin early ice walleye. And today I am on that exact lake again. Today I am by myself though, doing a little solo mission. And I'm gonna be just sitting out here, hoping that I can catch another giant. Now. Last time I was out here with Brandon, which was nice because we were able to have six flags. Today, I'm only going to be having three, so my chances go down tremendously, obviously, with less lines in the water. But that is not gonna stop me from getting out here and trying. All I need is one fish that can make my night. Hopefully, it's in that seven pound plus range. So, as you can tell, probably, it's already starting to get dark. I. Uh, Took me a while to get out here. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to this lake, if I wanted to go to another lake. I wasted some time, but regardless, I am out here. And now I gotta get set up before it gets dark because it's right about sunset right now, which, you know, is not ideal. But I'm gonna get set up, show you guys actually how to set an iFish Pro, which is what I'm gonna be using tonight to catch these walleyes. Last video, I did a tip up. Today, I'm doing iFish Pro, so let's get right into it. All right, so just made it to the first hole that I'm gonna be setting. Now, the spot that I am setting up on today is not rocks, not sand, but it is a weed line. Now, when it comes to ice fishing, at least for me personally, uh, my number one hot spot that I usually catch some of the biggest walleyes of the winter all come off of weed lines. Now, I know a lot of people like to fish rocks and sand, which yes, that is part of it too. You do want sand and rock leading up to a weed line and you have to make sure that there are green weeds. Now I did check all the holes that I'm going to be setting up with my Markham underwater camera just to make sure that I am on the weed line and basically if you guys don't know what an iFish Pro is it is a tip up as you can see right here a tip up here's the flag and instead of hand lining the fish when the tip up goes up you come over and you fight the fish on your favorite rod. Now today the rod that I am going to be using is a frostbite true grit this is a 38 inch medium this is going to be your ideal ifish pro rod now if i bend it here you can see this whole rod peels over so when that fish is head shaking like this you're not giving them that real quick snap like you would with if you had like a really sensitive tip uh, where it would maybe head shake off and you would lose that fish. No, this whole rod bends up super nice. That is gonna be the rod that I am using tonight. And real quick, I'm just gonna show you guys how I like to set these. So you got your depth finder right here. Hook it on your treble, send it down to your ideal depth. Just like a tip up, you find the bottom. So right here, feel the bottom is where my bottom is. And I'm gonna go a little bit up just because iFish Pro stands about an inch high. Okay, now, you probably can't see it, but instead of using like a bobber or a button like you would on a tip up, you use a bobber stop. Now I'm gonna slide this up, this is bottom, the rod tip, to about, I don't know, 10 to a foot off of the bottom. Reel that back up. You're gonna go ahead, get a minnow, which I just so happen to have a minnow in my pocket because I'm too lazy to bring the minnow bucket over. And tonight we are gonna be strictly using small walleye suckers. And I just have it on a red treble with a sinker on there. You wanna send that all the way down, put your rod in the holder like so. You got this red tab here that you're gonna slide up to your bobber stop, which is basically gonna be the mechanism that pulls your flag and trips it. Open up your bale, slide that to the bobber stop, put the flag down. You got a little tab that you just hold it. So basically now a fish will come across, pull it, set the flag, I come over here, pick the rod up, close the bale, set the hook and catch the fish. Really simple, and I probably could have done a better job showing you guys the setup, but like I said, I got out here a little late and I basically just want to set up as fast as I possibly can. If you guys want a little more in-depth video on how to set iFish Pros, I can definitely do that. Last but not least, you go ahead, 
get your tip-up light, put this bad boy on the flag because it will be getting dark here soon. So now I know when I get a flag after dark, this lake is pretty much strictly an after dark bite. So I'm not too worried about being set up right at sunset like you would at some of the other lakes. But within the next half an hour here, hopefully one of these flags will up. I got two more to set. I'm using strictly all iFish Pros tonight. And yeah, we're just gonna see if a solo mission giant walleye can happen tonight. You can now see it is fully dark. And if I turn around here quick, in the process of waiting, I set up my Eskimo two-man. Got a whole lot of stuff in here. I got my bucket, my nice, awesome seat, backpack, camera gear. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm calling home for the night. And wow, I just got finished setting up. It is so freaking quiet out here, guys, that I just heard the first iFish Pro go off. I heard the plastic flag rip up and I looked in the distance, saw a blinking red light and guys, I am pumped. So let's go check it. All right, first flag of the night. And I just saw a line peeling off of this. So definitely gonna be a fish here. Go ahead and remove the iFish Pro. Just gonna give this guy some slack. Close my bail. Check my drag, maybe tighten it off just a little bit here. Reel down till I find weight. Got him. Okay, well, first fish of the night. What do we got? On the old frostbite true grit. Well, we're at bobber stop already doesn't feel like a terribly large fish but definitely a walleye oh yeah just a nice walleye all right there we go well not <laughs> not as big as that first freaking walleye of the year that i caught but that is probably like a nice i don't know 17 18 inch walleye which is beautiful I am not going to be keeping any fish out of this lake though tonight. One, because I am going to probably be getting home extremely late and I really don't feel like cleaning fish when I get home. So this one's going to get the pass. Everything's getting released tonight, but nice way to start the night. Not a mega giant, but this lake does hold some absolute giants. Every single flag that I go to could be my personal best. It's just one of those things where you just got to wait and see. So first fish, get them unhooked, get them released. And Hope we get another one real soon. Nice first fish of the night. Thanks for playing the game, buddy. See you later. Oh. All right, well, it's been about 10 minutes since I've caught the first walleye of the night, and I have just made it back to the shack. And uh, yeah, not much going on in here. The only thing I brought is an almost drank Powerade. And I do have some barbecue Pringles. Um, so at least I got a little bit of food out here. It is like eerie quiet out here. Like I am in the middle of nowhere up here in Northern Wisconsin. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm used to going on these missions like up here, but man, something about like just sitting in the dark, there's no moon, no stars out tonight. And just like every little noise I can hear. Like the first tip up that I actually had go up, um, I, I heard the flag pop on the iFish Pro. I didn't even see it. I heard it in the shack and I'm like, I got a freaking tip up. I guess I'm just gonna sit in here, chill. And hopefully next time I turn on the camera, we're gonna upgrade the size of that walleye to something a little bit bigger. All right, you guys. So I'm not gonna lie to you. It has been, been a while since I've last talked to you probably honestly a good hour now this fish is running so i'm not gonna waste too much time first one i caught was a little small but anything is possible this fish is really running which normally means bigger there we go okay could be bigger definitely is nicer than the first one. Definitely nicer. 
big head shakes. My God. Woo, this is exciting. Worth the wait for sure. Okay, he's here. Doesn't seem monstrous, but decent fish, a lot of fight. Come on. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Decided he wanted to actually fight now. My god. Come on. Holy cow. Wow, that's actually a nice walleye. Bigger than I thought. My god, that's actually really big. Holy. Right at the hole. Gotta play it. Not like a super fat fish, but it looks long. It looks real long. Come on. Tire him out. Man, this fish has got a lot of fight in it. He does not want to come up this hole. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big wall. Oh boy. Alrighty guys, that is a nice fish. Oh, let me come a little closer to the camera here. Hopefully you guys can see that, but that is probably, man, that's probably a nice 26 inch fish. It's actually a lot fatter than what I thought it was, but man, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous looking fish. Now, the thing about tonight, is yes, I am waiting an extremely long time, but I want to wait because there is a front that should be moving through in the next half an hour here. And I was hoping I was gonna be able to get a fish like this um, to hit before this storm. Um, it's not gonna be like super huge, but tomorrow is gonna be a cold front. If you guys are used to walleye fishing, you know going out before fronts can be enormous. Well, really any fish, but especially walleyes, I've done some of my best walleye fishing right before like a major front comes through. So I'm gonna go ahead, unhook them, show you guys, and then get a release. Well, I cut the hook out and I would show you guys the measurement of this fish, but as you can see, my tape measure has uh, seen better days. But I did get a rough estimate on the fish and it is 25 and a half, I believe. Could be wrong, could be an inch or two off, whatever. But either way, really nice Northern Wisconsin walleye here. Um, he is bleeding a little bit, but I haven't had him out too long and the hook came out nice and easy. So I'm gonna go ahead, show you guys this fish one more time here quick. Just a beautiful, beautiful walleye. I'm gonna go ahead, get her back right away. Like I said, not keeping any fish tonight. And these fish right here, these big breeders up here in Northern Wisconsin, really anywhere, but especially up here on some of these uh, smaller lakes that I am fishing, very important that you get the big ones back because they are the ones that carry the genes and keep the walleye fishing the way it is. So definitely make sure to get these big girls back. Shouldn't be long, there she goes. Oh, nothing better than an awesome, tail kick goodbye man that was awesome caught that one on the other ifish pro this one has not gone up tonight obviously only two flags tonight this one also was on the frostbite true grit and uh as you can tell that one handled it beautifully it was able to absorb those head shakes awesome so hopefully i don't have to wait another hour before i get my next flag but i'm gonna go ahead i'm going to get another sucker on this tip up and uh I don't know, maybe we got a little flurry going, but that's always a good sign when you get a 25 incher to hit. So hopefully the next one keeps going up in size. It's been about 10 minutes since I got that last fish. And uh, yeah, that whole thing about me getting a flurry of action before that front comes through is definitely coming true. I just got another tip up. So I'm gonna go ahead, walk on over there and check that one out. All right. Well, no movement yet. Go ahead and pick up the rod here. Move this to the side. The other one was ripping out line. This one, not so much. So, either he dropped it or he decided he just wanted to go down to the bottom and just start munching on it. Let me go ahead and just see if I feel anything. Oh yeah. 
Oh god. What is going on here? It's like I'm s snaked on something. What the heck? He ran me through some weeds, feels like. I don't feel any head shakes or anything. Either I'm pulling a bunch of weeds or there's a fish on this. I don't I don't know. Oh yeah, there's the head shakes. Oh yeah, I see him. Not a very big walleye. It's a nice, nice fish still. Oh, that one was so nice. Oh my God, look at you. <laughs> that fish was so much nicer than the other one. That other one was just dogging me. But that's probably, I don't know. That's probably like a 18, 19 inch fish. Getting the smaller ones tonight. Now I did just catch a 25 mixed in, um, but normally this lake, I don't see a lot of this size when I come out. Now in the springtime, we catch a bunch of these. Winter, they just they just disappear. Um, so yeah, I am using smaller suckers tonight. So that could be a reason why I'm picking up some smaller walleyes, but nice quality fish. Go ahead and pop the hook out there. Show you guys one more time. Oh, God, no. Oh. All right, well, not as graceful as I would have pleased on that. Uh, dropping him there didn't really help, but he swam back, kicked off, a lot of energy. Well, that is the third walleye of the night. And um, yeah, those two were back to back, basically, 10 minutes apart. So hopefully they keep biting. I'm not sure if you guys can see on the lens but that front has just started to push through. I didn't have any wind when I got out here today and now all of a sudden the wind is starting to pick up and the snow has just started to fall. Now, generally, um, that usually means the fish are gonna be done biting. So what I'm probably gonna start doing, considering I do have my shack, is I'm gonna start taking down my shack, start organizing all my stuff, I'm gonna leave the flags in the water still just to give them you know every last opportunity um, before i pick them up for the night but this is probably where i'm going to be ending the night now like i said i am keeping the flags up while i take down everything i guess there always is one last chance to where i could get a flag and get that last minute walleye but otherwise if that does not happen i will see you guys back at the vehicle well that is where I am going to be ending today's video. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed, even though I only got a couple of walleyes on top of the ice. Now, real quick, before I end today's video, I would like to say that I am fishing a lot of smaller lakes up here. That is because a lot of the bigger lakes, like I'm talking the real big lakes that I like to walleye fish, are not quite frozen yet, which is pretty unfortunate. Now, it does look like the two week forecast shows that it is gonna be getting mighty cold up here and those bigger lakes should start to freeze up which enables me to make more walleye content on lakes that have better numbers of walleyes now the lake i was fishing today definitely has walleyes in it but it is a lower density lake that is because you are targeting only those one or two bigger bites per night it's not a lake that you're going to go to and catch 50 walleyes and you know that's just how it is i was coming out here to uh, put another giant on top of the ice, which I did not quite, I wouldn't say that one was a giant, but it was definitely a very, very quality size walleye. 25 and a half is nothing to be ashamed of. Um, that fish was probably, you know, seven pounds or so. Nice, nice fish, glad I caught it. But like I said, that front rolled through and it kind of just shut the fishing down tremendously. Plus, I only had three flags out there. You know, if I was jigging or whatever, it would have been a little different, but just sitting out there in the dark got me a little bored and, uh, you know, I gave it an honest effort. I was out there for four hours after dark and decided to just get on out and end the video right where it is right now before the snow gets too bad. So if you guys enjoyed today's video and if you wanna see more walleye content on the channel, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you thought, um, any ideas that you guys have going forward on upcoming ice fishing videos that you will be seeing. Also, really quick before I go, this upcoming weekend, I will be at the Fargo Ice Show with Brandon. Uh, we will be at the Frostbite booth um, alongside like Mindak, John, Sam, uh, Clayton's gonna be there, all the Frostbite like headquarters guys, you know, behind the scenes guys. So really excited to meet everybody. 
get to talk some fishing. So if you guys are in the Midwest and you are close to Fargo and you want to come meet us or just any of the Frostbite guys, make sure to check out the booth. Like I said, that's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We will be there. So if you guys are in the area, come check it out. But other than that, I am going to uh, take off all these clothes because I am extremely hot. I had a walk into this lake. And yeah, that's all I got. So hope you guys enjoyed. Again, like the video, subscribe. I will talk to you on the next one. Tight lines from NBA. Edit.